My name is Gina Farron. Well, I've been creating artwork as long as I can remember. Um, I remember uh, wanting that really big box of crayons when I was a little girl and that had 64 back then. So that was a pretty big deal. And my grandma had those. So that was really exciting. I spent a lot of time with those boxes of colors. Um, but in first grade is when I first said I was going to be an artist. Uh, I didn't really start to study it officially until my late 20s, however. The medium that I use generally is paint, painting acrylic paint uh, and canvas, although I, I also like to paint on wood quite often and sometimes dabble in oils, but lately it's been mostly acrylics. I have some artwork that's more well known from um, the past when I used to do art shows in town and I used to do a lot of Mr. Potato Head um, baseball drawing uh, paintings and those were kind of the favorite of what I used to sell prints of. Um, I've also done a lot of mermaids and sea creatures and I have work hanging at Sonara. But I have started a new tech technique. Um, so as an art therapist, um, I do a lot of artwork with clients and I have a great opportunity to meet all kinds of really awesome people. Um, and so we do something called pour paintings in my office where it's a special kind of paint that you pour it all into a cup and then you dump the cup and it creates all of these beautiful textures and colors and all of this flow. And so I started making those paintings and then I started seeing things in the paintings. So in the designs, something will always emerge and it comes to me and then I paint it. And I kind of combine that with, um, I guess, therapeutic concepts that help people feel better. Like some of my paintings are about flow and growth and light and love and healing and all the kinds of things that just help people smile. First and foremost, I hope that my viewers take a smile from looking at my artwork and I hope that it brings a sense of magic and, and wonder um, and a sense of whimsy and just a little bit of joy and happiness. This, this piece over here, um, I had started that piece, I did a poor painting on it last year. And when I was thinking about this show, I was looking for something big that I had done and I pulled it out and I looked at it and I thought, you know, 2020 has been a really rough year and I feel like I want to make something that just gives hope to, to the feelings that we're all having right now. And so I started painting over the poor painting and that's when it, a heart just emerged out of there with like shiny things um, beaming out of it and it just came to me that I, I wanted to call it love wins because I think that love is what is going to get us through these times. And so that's probably the one that um, was maybe the most meaningful of just setting the tone for everything else. I generally don't have an order in which I do things. They just flow through me. And then after they come out, I kind of understand what the order is.